Oh, I just want to show an interesting line that I think a lot of Sword Soul players know about, but not everyone, on how to play through uh, your Moya getting negated like by Infirm or Veiler. Since the most common spot that people will stop you in when you're playing Sword Soul is on your... If you're going first, it'll be on your Moye normal summon. So this combo requires um, access to Moye, access to Longrun, and access to a Shuna. This can be you can hard draw this, or you could get this with Ecclesia. The Longrun can be accessed with Emergence, and a Shuna you can access with both Dragon Circle and Vessels if you're running that. So it's a three card combo, but all of these are at way more than just three copies per deck. So to start off, right, we will normal summon Moya, and let's say our Moya gets infirmed and negated. Well, the next step would be to use Long Island's effect to ditch Ashuna, special itself, and get a token. Now, normally, if you discarded any other worm, the only play you would have is to make Chi Shao with the token and Moye, banish Black out from your deck, get another token, then make a uh, level 10 with Long Island. So you would have a level 10 synchro and a level 8 synchro. But since we discarded Ashuna, here's something, here's another play to, you can consider doing that I that I really like doing, especially in Master Duel where Nibiru is not as popular as it would be in like T TCG, for example. Use Ashuna effect while you still have the token on board. Get an Adara from your deck. Next, you're gonna synchro your token and Moye into Maxia. Well, and Moye will draw a card. And next, you will synchro into Yazi with Adara and Long Run. And this is the crucial step of the play. Now, you can't use Yazi's effect because you know there's, your opponent controls nothing. You're going first. But now you use Baxia, target Yazi, and revive Adara. And because Baxia's effect destroys the targeted monster, the targeted card, you can trigger Yazi off this and special Taya from the deck. Next, we'll use Taya, banish a monster. We'll say I'll banish a uh, long gun. To get a token. And next, you can synchro Baxia and Adara into Chaofeng to lock your opponent out of light effects. Here, you could use Adara to also add back the long end that we banished for follow up on the next turn. And synchro these two into Chi Shao. And now you have a choice with uh, what you add off Chi Shao. Taya can dump whatever Tenny you want for follow up. This will dump a Rashuda. Now you can either add Blackout. If you're playing TCG, you know, you could add Blackout, and the cool thing about Blackout is your opponent's out, Chaofeng locks your opponent out of light effects, but you can also Blackout your own Chaofeng and then search a tuner with it. So if we didn't have Ash, you could Blackout Chaofeng, then search Ash too for initial disruption, or you can search Ecclesia for follow up. Since we're playing Master Duel, we can search Emergence. And emergence for Protos. And we get this use Protos, banishing three attributes. And lock them out of dark special summons. So if you have Moye, Ashuna, and Long Yuan access. Through an imperm, you can lock your opponent out of light and dark and end with a Chi Shao still. With uh, adding back long end or whatever worm you want for follow up on the next turn. 
and we'll fire off the desires just cause. Now I want to show you the line where it's where you open instead of one of Moye or Long Yuan, you open it in Emergence instead, and you have to search it use Emergence. You know, obviously that if you start with Emergence, you can't use it later to search Protos. So it'll, there's actually a even cooler line you can do with this. So let's get out our Moye and let's assume it gets negated by Imperm. Okay, so now use Emergence. We have to spend the Emergence to search for the Long Gun. And then trigger Long Gun by pitching a Shuna. And we'll get our token out. And this is the start is the is the same. The go into Boxia, yeah. It'll deviate after we summon Taya out. Go into Yazi. And we'll pop our Yazi. Bring back Adara. And Taya, uh, Yazi will get out Taya. Okay, so now it's actually really cool. Use Taya's effect. You're going to banish Sword Soul Emergence. And now. You're gonna use Sword Soul Emergence's effect to increase the level of box of Boxia by one. Now you're gonna synchro into Sinister Teaching Long Gun with Box with the level 9 Boxia now and Adara. And we can use Adara to add back our Ashuna. Now go into our uh, Chi Shao. And we get to actually draw an initial card off Sinister Sovereign as well. Now the way this works is there's only one. We've already used Long Yun and we've already used Emergence. So unless you want to sack into, you know, drawing a Protoss. But, well, no, even that. Because I know for sure what I'm going to add, which is going to be Blackout. That's the only good target left in the deck. So I'm actually going to do uh, Cheesing Long Guns Draw as Chainlink 1. And then Grandmaster as Chainlink 2. And then Taya as Chainlink 3. So we get our search before our draws, since we already know what we're getting. Taya will send us anything for follow-up. And Chisha will add us Blackout. Now we get another draw of Cheesing Long Run. So in this case, after we get Imperm, since we we didn't hard draw Long Run, we we hard drew Emergence instead. You can end on on uh, Cheesing Long Run plus Chi Shao plus draw one card, and then plus Blackout because you search Blackout. So you still end on the full board essentially. It's like the Imperm like didn't even do anything really. But yeah, that's, that's just a a quick quick tutorial. I don't I, again. I think a, a lot. It's a very important part of the Sword Soul player arsenal to know this. And I there's a few people I I think that would find this helpful. So yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you if you want to see see uh, my the deck my deck for all this and some gameplay of this of this deck, I, I have it right here from what I did in the DC Cup and then Diamond Rank.